Our general order of courses in math is to go from Algebra 1 to Algebra 2 to Geometry, and then from there go off into higher level math classes. So, if you are currently sitting in some level of Algebra 1, you will be taking some level of Algebra 2 next year. If you are currently sitting in some level of Algebra 2, you will be taking Geometry next year. If you are currently sitting in some level of geometry this year, there are many options for you, so be sure to talk to your math teacher to determine what is most appropriate for you. School-wide, we have been talking all year about our passion and purpose in life. If that passion has anything to do with STEM, which stands for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, then you really should be taking as much math as possible. It is possible for you to double up in math while a student here at Liberty. And if that is of interest to you, be sure to talk to your counselor. In addition, if STEM is your thing, be sure to try to get into our Project Lead the Way courses for engineering here at Liberty. Although we do not offer as many electives as some other subject areas, the one that we do offer is a great one. If you are interested in going to college and want to bring up your SAT scores, then SAT Math Prep is the elective for you to take. Your SAT scores in math are sure to improve if you take this nine-week elective. In order to take this class, you must complete Algebra 2 by the end of this school year. We offer two AP classes in math here at Liberty. AP Statistics is for two different types of students. Students who are great at math and really like math should definitely be taking this course. But if you are the type of student who is just good at math and is great at writing and reading comprehension, then this course is for you as well. This is not an algebra-based math class, so many students who excel in reading and writing also excel in this class. We also offer AP Calculus. This is a course for students who are great at math and really like math. There is an extension to this course for students who want to take the actual AP test. So, if you want to take the AP Calculus test, it is important that you schedule the actual class for the first semester and the extension for the second semester. You stand little chance of being successful on the AP Calculus test without taking the extension. Once again, if you want to take the AP Calculus test, you should schedule the actual class for the first semester and the extension for the second semester. Good luck in scheduling your classes, and good luck the rest of this school year.